Renewable energy is rapidly growing in New Brunswick. With resources like electric cars and the Magdeburg Dam, it may seem like New Brunswickers are switching to a greener lifestyle. New Brunswick, however, uses the most energy out of any other province in most North Americans. The University of New Brunswick's Association of Civil Engineering Graduate <coughs> Students held an event on Saturday outlining the energy use in New Brunswick and the future of the capabilities of the province's production of it. Lawrence Allaire is the president of the association and she thinks it's important to hold these events for the public's interest and allow big companies to be transparent. information to the public about such a hot topic so basically we decided to have another event like this and um, as engineers um, we know a lot about the science about stuff and it, sometimes I think a lot of people make decisions without knowing the facts behind um, their, the opinions they're forming. And Donald McPhail is an expert in energy and its consumption in the province. He presented the background of the energy within the province at the event. I think energy is important in, in New Brunswick and energy is important everywhere really. We don't realize how much we use it. It's, we think of it as being uh, the energy or the, the gasoline we put into our car, but it's actually the, the power bill at home. One of the main issues surrounding energy is the different ways people want it, from it being plentiful and low cost to it being available at a flip of a switch at all times of the year. This, however, is unrealistic with the amount of we currently use and the rate of production we need to maintain our technology-savvy lifestyle. Fail says, though we use a lot of electricity in the province, a lot of it is produced right here at home. In New Brunswick, we've got a pretty good mix of how we make electricity. It's from, it's from hydro, it's from nuclear, it's uh, from oil. Our biggest power plant is oil-fired, but it doesn't operate all the time. We have two gas-fired power plants. We have wind turbines. I'm probably missing something, but we have a very comprehensive set of power generation assets. And then we also use a lot of uh, oil just for, for home heating, for transportation, obviously and we use natural gas in homes, uh, schools. Many of us take energy for granted, so next time you turn in your car or open your laptop, consider the time and effort it took to produce that energy. For St. Thomas Journalism, I'm Mitchell Pearden.